open licenses. Open licenses are generated by the content creator and they accord certain rights to the content creator and they confer certain responsibilities upon the end user of that particular open license. Before we go into the concept of open licensing, there are some concepts which must be clarified. These are as follows. The first one is, does the content have any anticipated obvious commercial potential? This is because as a content creator, the moment you decide to set an open license for your content, the content will be visible in the public domain and will turn up in any intellectual property search or a prior art search. This is one of the points which you must consider. And this proceeds to point two, which does the organization intend to file intellectual property protection for the content. So if you intend to file any kind of IP protection in any country or any jurisdiction, either international in WIPO or locally, you must ensure that your content is not open licensed. The third point which must be considered is the process of due diligence. Uh, the content creator must ensure that the content is not from another source in terms of the copyright issues. He or she should ensure that the content is original or if it has been derived from other sources, due legal jurisprudence has been resorted to. And the fourth one is, is the content creator aware of the concept of open licensing? Many individuals who are working in an organization may not be aware of the concept of open licensing. So open licensing is distinct and the content creator must be made aware of the concept prior to selection of the license. Okay, in order to create a license, all you have to do is visit the website Creative Commons at www.creativecommons.org and then you can select your license features. There's a license chooser and you can select the license here. So all you complete the license which says, do you allow adaptations of your work to be shared? Yes, no, yes, as long as others share alike. Yes, no, allow commercial uses of your work. Either it's a yes or a no. And the license is generated by the website. Now all you need to do is copy this license and incorporate it into your document which, or your content, which may be in the form of a text document, a creative work such as an artwork or your YouTube videos. We move on to the different types of licenses. I will describe the licenses in detail. The first one is the attribution license. As you can see, it has CCBY. This license allows others to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon your work even commercially, as long as they credit you as the original creator. Now, this is one of the most open licenses which is available as it does not restrict the rights and responsibilities of the end user. However, the end user must credit the original creator of the license. These licenses are very useful when you want to generate publicity for your organization and improve your webometrics uh, ranking as these licenses are searchable on a database and they offer more visibility to your organization. The second type of license is called CC BY Share Alike, which allows others to remix, adapt and build upon your work even for commercial purposes as long as they credit you and license their new creations under the identical terms, which means that they can copy your work, modify it, but they must share the work under the similar license. So if I create some commercial content using the work from another individual, another content creator, I have to share the commercially developed content using the same license. I cannot commercialize it and then share it using another license. It should be shared under the same license. The next type of license is attribution no derivatives. No derivatives means the work can be reused for all work including commercial. However, it can not be shared with others in adapted form and credit must be provided to you. Now this kind of license is very relevant when it involves documentary evidence such as photographs of events in which case the content creator may not want the photograph to be photoshopped and shared as a derivative. 
Okay, so this is a derivative, no derivative license. Now we move on to the commercial and non-commercial license. Now this is a CC by NC. This implies that any content which you have created cannot be shared in order to generate an income to the end user. So if I create content and if I incorporate this NC sign inside non-commercial, it implies that others cannot copy my work and reuse it for commercial use. They can use it for non-commercial use but they cannot use it to generate a source of revenue. This is another more restrictive license which says CC BY no non-commercial and share alike which means that the work cannot be shared commercially and it should be shared under the same license. And finally we have the license which is very restrictive. So this is CC BY non-commercial and no derivatives. They can download your work, they can reuse, remix, however they cannot commercialize it and they cannot modify the work. They should present it in its current form. So we have come to the end of this tutorial. In order to choose your license, please visit creativecommons.org and select licenses. You may also contribute to Creative Commons as they are not for profit organization who rely on contributions from donors. Thank you for watching this tutorial and we all support open source. Thank you.